Runway has just introduced a new option called Motion Brush, and with Motion Brush, you could basically bring any part of an image to life. All you have to do is brush over a section, and this gives you control over the motion in that very specific area for your video. Now, if you haven't used Runway before, this is the leading text to video platform. So you could access it at runwayml.com. Right now, Motion Brush is the new option, so you could try it here. But if you try Runway here, it will take you to the same page. Now, here inside of Runway, I'm gonna go ahead and start with an image because the way Motion Brush works is it actually lets you control parts of an image and turn that part into motion. So you can't do it with text, although you could generate image previews here with text, but right now I'm just gonna use images and upload a file. Now, to get good images, there is a free website and it's called pixels.com. So here you could search for any images. These are royalty free, free to use. And you could always use Dolly or Mid Journey to generate images that are good as well. And all I did right now is search for beach. I'm gonna show you a couple of different examples with some of the settings we have, but if you search for beach, just go ahead and click on any one of these and then go ahead and press free download right on top. And then I'm gonna upload that image here under the image tab. Now here, typically you would click generate and it will bring this to life. But in this case, we wanna use this motion brush option right here. This is gonna open this new edit window. I'm gonna tap anywhere to get started. And here inside of the image, you have this brush right here. So this purple dots your brush. And then you have the size, which you could decrease if you want really fine refinements. But in most cases, I wanna move a big area. So in this case, I wanna move the cloud. So I'm gonna increase it to be large. And then you could select the parts that you want moved. If you make a mistake, there is an eraser here where you could erase what you don't want included. Now, in this case, I'm gonna just change and select all the clouds that I want moved over here. And you could do it with the water too. Anything you want moved, you could go ahead and select it here. And then you have three sliders down here that is going to control speed. So horizontal, if you want things to move faster left to right, you could change it. So if you want things to move slower left to right, decrease. If you want things to move fast left to right, increase. Now by default, I recommend you stay just right here in the middle. With vertical too, you could do the same thing. If there's vertical motion in the image that makes sense. In this case, if I change the clouds to move vertically, it's not gonna make much sense. So I'm gonna just not touch that at all, leave it right in the center. I'll show you an example where this makes sense in the very next image that I have right now. And then proximity, if you want things to move in a group, you could go ahead and move this more to the right. And if you want things to be more separated, move it to the left. So a flock of bird, for example, should move together. Clouds should move together. In the middle, by the way, gets me the best results in all my experimentation so far. So I recommend you start here before you generate too much and use up too much credit. And then if it doesn't look quite right or if the speed is not there for you, go ahead and make alterations to these three sliders. So as soon as you're done here, you could go ahead and press save. Then in addition to that, you have camera motion. So that is gonna make your image move in the certain parts that you brushed over, but camera movement moves the whole video. So if you want things to basically move in or out or zoom in, you could go ahead and set these options. And then the speed, again, independent from the motion speed, you could set here. In this case, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna generate this based on all the default settings of the motion brush without any additional camera movement. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. And let me go ahead and play this in full screen here for you. And if you take a look at the clouds, really nice natural movement. And not much movement here happening to the water because I didn't brush the water. Now, if I do brush the water, the water is gonna move as well. Now, typically this moves slowly by default. So if you wanna increase how fast the clouds were moving, although this looks pretty natural, but if you want it to be more like a time lapse, take that horizontal slider all the way to one direction to the right. Now this version, I actually changed the slider on the vertical. So I made the speed change in the vertical and see unexpected things happen when things move vertically. It didn't make sense with this image. So you have to make the decision if you wanna change the sliders, the horizontal vertical, which way you wanna go. Because sometimes like in this one where I changed the vertical slider, the speed, I got really bad results. Let me show you one with the vertical slider that makes more sense. Now here's an image again from Pixels. And let's go to Motion Brush one more time, click anywhere. I'm gonna increase the brush size again and let's just paint the entire fire here. And I'm gonna increase the size here to five. Let's see what that looks like. 
Everything else I'm going to leave the same. In this case, I want the vertical movement to be even faster than normal. And then I'm going to go ahead and save and generate. So the fire is moving in the right direction, but the speed still needs to increase. So I moved it to five. I should probably move it all the way to the max. This sort of looks like slow motion video right now. It looks pretty good though. The movement is very nice in the right direction. And so let me show you how to edit existing ones. So right here, if you click the motion brush one more time, which is just underneath every video that you preview, you could go ahead and increase it. So I'm gonna go all the way to the 10 to the maximum and see what I come up with. By the way, every time you generate, it will use up credit. So I'm down to 121 seconds. You could see up here, and this is gonna use another four. So you need to upgrade sometimes if you run out of credits. So let me slide down. Here's the new one. Let me press play. So the speed is faster. Let me show you the previous. So this was much, much slower, but this actually looked a lot better. This one, it's losing some of the details in the fire. So I notice if I go all the way up or all the way down with any of those sliders, it does make other parts of it not look as good. So this is actually useful if I want some kind of a slow fire, but in most cases I can get things to move really, really fast, but I could speed this up in maybe an editing software like CapCut is a free video editing software where you could double the speed. So experiment with this again, use Pexels or any other text to image platform to create an image and bring it to life. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you on the next video.